This question comes from Justin in Waterton, Missouri. Never been to Waterton, Justin, but thank you so much for contacting us. He asks, why use the crucifix? What power does it hold? The Holy Bible doesn't speak of a crucifix. I'm told that the cross used to be a pagan symbol. The cross we generally think of as just a T. A cross like this. A crucifix has a three-dimensional image of Jesus on it. So Jesus, in three dimensions, is placed upon the cross. That's Catholic tradition. In Orthodox tradition, Eastern Orthodoxy, paints Jesus on the cross. The Bible doesn't say anything about holding a cross, as you see me do when I do exorcisms. Why then do I do it? And why are the demons so afraid of it? If you've watched me do these exorcisms on YouTube, you know the demons often cringe in terror. They're frightened of the cross. They don't want me coming near them and touching them with the cross. I've had the demons say, it burns. Get it away from me. What's going on here? Well, first of all, in 1 Corinthians 1.18, the Apostle Paul tells us that the preaching of the cross is the power of God. But in that sense, we're not talking about a physical cross. We're talking about the historical event of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. There are forms of the cross in pagan antiquity, particularly the Ankh, which is a fertility life symbol to the ancient Egyptians. Those who say they are Christians who are opposed to any display of crosses are primarily Mormons and Jehovah's Witnesses. It isn't the shape that is Christian or non-Christian because the, the shape is just the shape. There are many different shapes of crucifixes and crosses. It's what we attach to it by means of spiritual significance. And the primary significance of the cross for 2,000 years has been the victory of Jesus Christ over the devil. So then why do I use the cross? When I'm staring down demons, they can't see my faith. There is no visible manifestation of what I believe and where I place my hope and trust. When I put that cross in front of me, directly in the sight of the vision of the demons, they're reminded, in whom do I believe? In whom do I put my trust? Where does the power come from to confront them and cast them out? That power is in the cross, not the physical cross. It's just an emblem. It represents it's a visible, tangible expression of the invisibility of my faith in the victory of Jesus Christ over the devil at the cross. That's why I use the cross in doing deliverance. And that's why it frightens the demons, because they know the cross is a symbol of their defeat. Cancel curses, break soul ties, cleanse your ancestry, and cast out demons. Enroll now in the International School of Exorcism and the Advanced Academy of Deliverance. In our new book, Set Your Family Free, we teach how to raise children with purity principles, how to prepare them for adulthood, and how to break every assignment of Satan over their lives. We give you the principles of spiritual warfare to fight for your family and to be victorious over the powers of darkness. This is the book that will set your family free. How do you know if your problems are the result of bad life choices or demons? My 200-page book, Dealing with Demons, has answers for questions most are afraid to ask. 
can Christians be demon-possessed? How can I know what's natural and what's supernatural? Dealing with demons will teach you how to recognize symptoms that the devil is at work in your life. Be one step closer to living in spiritual victory. The most frequent demon that I deal with is the spirit of Jezebel. This demon wants to destroy your health, your finances, your marriage, your family, and your church. My book, Jezebel, is your key to overcoming the most prevalent evil spirit of our age. Get your copy today. He took the curses away from me. We'll see Papa Larson because he can help you. If your life isn't all that it should be, if relationships aren't working, if your health, your finances, or your spiritual life are unhappy, schedule a personal one-on-one -on -one encounter with me. We'll get to the root of the issues that are holding you back. We'll give you answers in a whole new direction in life. Oh, what a change, what a difference when you have an encounter with God. Take action. I look forward to seeing you soon. your support for this worldwide outreach to do what Jesus did. For the latest information on resources, seminars, conferences, training institutes, retreats, and international missions, go to boblarson.org. Thank you for your prayers and financial partnership.